Explosive bolts hold rockets down to the launch pad until the rocket engines get to full power. Then the bolts explode and the rocket takes off into space. And I'm going to show you one. Hey, I'm John Williams. Can you guess what this is? If you guessed right, it is the explosive bolt that held down the SRBs on the space shuttle to the launch pad right up until liftoff. There were eight of these little, there are the eight of these huge bolts that were held by two nuts, as you can see one there. And they basically took the full load of the shuttle stack, which includes the shuttle orbiter, the external fuel tank, and the two SRBs, right up until liftoff. So if you come over here, I'll show you where they are. You'd have one, two, and then you'd have two on the other side, and each SRB had four of them. At the top of the bolt, there would be an explosive charge that would trigger once the space shuttle main engines had got up to full thrust. That basically means ignition. The shuttle, since the uh, SRBs don't ignite yet, the shuttle twangs, which means it tilts and it comes back and the bolts have to take the full load. And then when the SRBs ignite and they start gaining thrust, the bolts bl blow out and they're captured in some buckets and then the thing goes to space. Now, if they let go a little earlier, the shuttle would just fall like this. And you don't want that to happen. So that's why the bolts were there. So if you also come over here, it's hard to tell, but there are explosive bolts that would have been held right there. The two connections to the external fuel tank. They are a little more complicated than the bolts on the, on the uh, launch pad, but basically those, those um, bolts um, exploded. The SRBs used some thrusters at the top and then they blew away. And then the shuttle kept going until it jettisoned the fuel tank. So that's pretty cool. Please subscribe, share our videos, and excitement about space with everyone.